Hey there, everybody. Maria from Coda here. So when we think about doing to-do lists, sometimes it can be helpful to have a visual representation of your progress, sort of a progress bar. And we had some fun in our Coda lab putting together an example that allows you to have a progress bar matched with a to-do list. So let's take a look. And now, notice, we've got a simple to-do list with some conditional formatting of when things are done, they become crossed out. And up at the top, notice that progress bar is responding. So this is a little bit of Coda magic. So these two things are actually entirely built with formulas. So the first formula is right here, hidden in plain sight. So if I right click it, notice it's calculating the percent complete from our to-do list. So it's looking at the to-do list, it's looking at what's done versus what's not done, and then it's allowing us to calculate that percentage. And I've named this formula percent, so I can very easily reference that elsewhere so I don't have to rewrite all of this. Now this progress bar, this is actually two formulas right next to each other as well. This is what we call the rectangle formula. So if I right click it, notice it's showing me it's a rectangle of the percent, this handy little formula, and it's letting me know that I want it to be this tall, 15, and this is the color that I want it to be. This is just a web hex color code, and it's letting me know that that's for the completed status. I did the same thing over here for the rectangle, in this case, um, just having it be gray for the remainder. So with a little bit of that code of magic, I've made that happen here. Now, maybe you don't like green. Maybe you'd prefer to have it be red. Well, if you want to change that, you can go right in here. I'm just going to change this to be the code for red, which is FF and then four zeros, one right after the other. And now I've got that nice red progress bar. So it's a little bit of a, a fun bit of code of magic. Have a good time with it. And remember, you can always start to add different elements to your to-do list by adding new columns and, of course, adding new rows. All right, have some fun and find out where else you might be able to do a rectangle formula.